Hi everyone, it's me again, your student teacher, Miss Hana, and welcome back to our class today. So, how are you today, class? Great, that you're all good today. So, we are now on midterm. So, before we start our discussion for today, let us have some activity. So, please listen carefully to my instructions. So, I will group you into four groups consisting with eight to nine members each group. I will present here pictures of different folk dances together with the virus folk dances. You are tasked to match the pictures with corresponding names. After that, you students will guess where different folk dances originated with whether it's in Luzon, Visayas, or it's in Mindanao. As the chases, the group with the most correct answer will win the game and will also have additional points. So is that clear? Great. So let's now start. Since in the previous discussion, we talked about dance. So our topic for today is a type of dance, which is folk dance. So you already know that there are a lot of types of different dances existing up until now. And folk dance is one of them. So again, what is really folk dance? So folk dance, generally a type of dance that is a vernacular, usually recreational expression of a past or present culture. The term folk dance was accepted until the mid 20th century. Then this and other categories of dance were questioned and their distinction became a subject to debate. So some of the Folk dances used in cultures are used for subject to debates. So, one of the most popular folk dances that is known in the Philippines is Tinikling. So, we are known for this dance, Tinikling. So, are you familiar with Tinikling? Great! So, the traditional dance which usually involves a pair of two bamboo poles is considered to be the oldest in the country and its appeal has spread across the globe particularly particularly to the united states so we are famous globally and it has been spreading with dif into different countries particularly in the united states so the oldest for form of dance and the earliest form of communication so, so folk dance are the oldest form of dance and the earliest form of communication so this is the oldest form of dance which is used for rituals festivals with our ancient with the ancient people and the earliest form of communication through dancing folk dance before it is their way of communicating to other people. It is also the traditional dance of a given country which evolved naturally and spontaneously with everyday activities such as occupations, customs, rituals, and festivals. So now we will proceed to the top 10 Philippine folk dances. So this includes Tinikling, Itik Itik, Maglalatik, Singkil, Kapa Malong Malong, Karinyosa, which is our national dance, Sayaw sa Bangko, Pangdango sa Ilaw, Kurat sa Pantum Mina. Now we will tackle first about the first one, which is the Tinikling. So, the place of origin is in Leyte. Tinikling is one of the most 
famous dances in the Philippines. The movement of this Filipino folk dance imitate the movements of the tickling birds. So are you familiar with the tickling birds? Great! So as it walks around through tall grass and between three branches, people use bamboo poles to perform this Filipino traditional dance. Tinikling is composed of three basic steps which includes singles, doubles, and hops. While dancing on two bamboo poles. Next is the itik itik. The place of origin of this dance is in Surigao del Sur. The itik itik is named after a species of duck or the itik whose movements the dance imitates. So, the the movements of the itik is which is movements of the itik is the basis of the, the steps. This example of Philippine folk dance from Surigao del, del Sur mimics how the itik walks and splashes to attract a mate. Next is the Maglalapik. The place of its origin is in Pinyan, Laguna. Maglalapik, a folk dance in Luzon, is the, not just any other traditional dance in the Philippines that mimics the movements of animals. This dance in the Philippines has a meaning. It is a mock war dance that depicts a fight over coconut meat, a highly prized food. The Filipino folk dance is broken into four parts. Two devoted to the battle and two devoted to the reconciling. The dancing men wear coconut shells as part of their costumes and they hit them in rhythm with the music. Maglalapik is danced in the religious procession during Fiesta in Binyan, Laguna as an offering to San Isidro de Labrador, the patron saint of Tanners. Next dance is the Singkil. Place of origin is in Lake Lanao. Singkil is a Mindanao folk dance that originated from Maranao people and is based on the story in the Darangin. The pre-Islamic Maranao interpretation of the ancient Hindu Indian epic, the Ramayana. The, this tri tribal dance in the Philippines means to entangle the feet with disturbing objects such as wines or anything in your path. The lead dancer in the rule Potri Gandingan, the Darangin name of Forsita, graciously manipulates either fans, scarves, or her hands while she steps in and out of closing bamboo poles. The poles are arranged in either a parallel, rectangular, or crisscross fashion. The single dance is one of the most popular Philippine folk dances. Next is the Kapa Malung Malung. The place of its orig origin is in Maranao tribe in Mindanao. The Kapa Malung Malung is a cultural dance in the Philippines influenced by Muslims. The Malung is a tubular garment and the folk dance essentially shows the many ways it can be worn. This traditional dance in the Philippines is not only for women though, but there is also a man's version of the dance since they wear balongs in different ways. Next is the Carreñosa. Place of origin is in Panay Island. If there's one type of folk dance in the Philippines that will surely surprise you, it's Carreñosa Philippine folk dance. You might think that most of the Philippine folk dances include women characters that have a shy and Maria Clara personality. While it's true, Carinosa dance is a Filipino cultural dance made for a flirting, hence it's a courtship dance in the Philippines. The dancers make a number of flirtatious movements as they pick out at one of another behind fans and handkerchiefs. Next dance is Sayosa Bangkok. 
place of its origin is in Pangasinan. Another example of Philippine folk dance that will test your skills in Sayaw sa Bangkok. Dancing on the chair. It is performed on top of a narrow bench to ace a, this ethnic, ethnic dance in the Philippines. Dancers need to, to have a good balance as they go through a series of movements that include some impressive acrobatics. So if you want to have a challenging pop dance, try Sayaw sa Bangko. Next is the Pangdanglo sa Ilaw. Place of its origin is in Lubang Island, Mindoro. Just in Binasuan, Pandango sa Ilaw is a game of balancing glasses. Only with candles inside, dancers have to balance three oil lamps, one on the head and one in each hand. It's a lively Philippine folk dance that originated in Lubang island in occidental Mindoro. The music is in three to four time and is usually accompanied by castanets. So if you're always game for challenging Filipino dances, try Pandango sa Ilaw. The Pandango sa Ilaw is similar to a Spanish Pandango but the Pandango folk dance is performed while balancing three oil lamps. Next dance is the Koratsa. Place of origin is in Samar Island. The Kuratsa is considered a courtship dance in the Philippines. This Filipino dance has three parts. First, where the couple performs a waltz. Second, the music sets up a surprise as the man pursues the woman around the dance floor in a chase. Lastly, the music becomes even faster as the man wins over the woman with his mating dance. What an interesting folk dance in the Philippines, right? Next is the Pantomina. Place of origin is in Bicol. Pantomina is another courtship dance in the Philippines. It is a regular feature of festivities in Bicol and is said to mimic the movement of doves in courtship. <laughs> 